Did you know that with My Viewboard, you can live stream your lessons to services like YouTube or Facebook? Let's explore that today. I already have My Viewboard open, and I am signed in. That's really important. You have to be signed in to be able to live stream. And I already have my lesson created. If you need to know how to sign in or create lessons, go check out some of our other YouTube videos. In order to start and get ready, you actually need to head over to YouTube first. So go to YouTube and I'm gonna make sure that I'm signed in with the account I wanna stream from. And in the top right, you'll see this little video camera with a plus button. If you touch that, this is where you can upload videos, but you can also go live. So I'm gonna choose go live here. This takes me into the studio. And this is where I can set up my stream. Now, if this is your first time doing this, it is gonna ask you for a phone number so you can verify your account. And verification can take up to 24 hours. I'm gonna go ahead and create a title. We're gonna call this Math Area Lesson. And instead of making this a public stream, I'm gonna do it unlisted so kids who have the link can access it, but it's just not gonna be randomly out there. If you need to add a description, you can do that there. And then I would change it from people and blogs to education because if it's listed under education, it probably won't get blocked by YouTube filters. You can also schedule your stream for a later time. So if you wanted to choose a date and time, you can do that here. I'm gonna keep mine live. This next part here is really important because if you're using it with kids and you select yes, then things like ads and the chat feature will be turned off. If you're doing it with adults, you can say no, it's not made for kids. And then that turns on chat. I'm going to leave it on yes for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the stream. Once everything loads up, you'll see your title and you can change all that if you want to. But here at the bottom, you'll see some different settings that we can change. So let's go through some of these. First off over here, you'll see that I can enable auto start and auto stop. What this does is it allows my view board to control when the recording starts and when the recording stops. If you keep these disabled, you'll have to physically click the go live and in stream button here inside YouTube. So today I'm gonna go ahead and enable these so my view board can control the stream. The next thing I like to do, if you scroll down a little bit, is you can check out the added delay. So by default, live streams are always delayed a few seconds. It's just kind of like watching live TV. It's not technically live, there's always a delay. But if you wanted to add an additional delay, like 30 or 60 seconds, you could always do that as well. But I'm also gonna turn on closed captions here so we can have that as well. Now everything's ready here on this side. I need to go back to my view board because you can see here that it says connect streaming software to start preview. Well, it's because my streaming software is not ready to go. And my streaming software is gonna be my view board. In order to set up the streaming software, we're gonna use the camera button or the screen capture tool in the main toolbar. In the menu, you'll see the video camera icon. Go ahead and click that. And then in the video recording menu, we're gonna choose the live stream button here, which is the video camera with the uh, Wi-Fi waves coming off of it. So when you select that, I'm gonna choose HD. I don't want anything bigger than HD because the bigger the resolution, the more data it requires to stream. And then my view board is gonna ask for what's called the stream key and the stream URL. This information is on YouTube. So I'm gonna go back to my YouTube page. You'll notice that my view board keeps the window open, so it's a lot easier to copy this over. So over here on the bottom left, you'll see this section where all these dots are. This is the stream key. They're dots because it's hidden like your password. For good reason, if you give out your stream key, then other people can use it. So I'm gonna touch the copy button here. Then I'm gonna go back to the my view board set stream settings menu. And where it says stream key, I'm gonna use the paste button, which is just to the right of the box. It's kind of hard to see, it's white on gray, but that will paste my stream key in. Next, I need the stream URL, which is down here. So again, I'm gonna press copy and then the paste button. If you wanted my view board to record a separate video locally and save it to Google Drive, you could select record the stream. 
but I'm going to let YouTube do that because YouTube will record it. Now, if you remember, I told YouTube to auto start and auto stop. So if I touch this check mark here, my view board is going to do a countdown and immediately start recording. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I am ready to go. One other thing that's important to do before you start is you got to share the YouTube video stream key with students. In order to do that, you'll see that there's a little share button on the top right of the YouTube uh, page that you're setting up the stream in. This is kind of the share button. You'll get this short URL. You're going to want to copy this and put it in an email or put it in a chat or put it to your, post it to your LMS so that kids have the link ahead of time. Now that our kids have the link, we have the stream set up. I'm going to get my lesson ready, touch the check mark, and then I'm going to get the 3, 2, 1 countdown. And now I am live. So now I can say good morning everyone. Today we're going to be learning about area. This is one of the activities you have to complete on Google Classroom. So I'm going to show you how to complete activity one. Then I want you to do the rest on your own. We're finding area, so you need to count inside the boxes. Each one is one square unit. So we're going to count six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve squares. You get the idea. Any tools and anything you use inside my view board uh, will record live, even if you switch to another tab. So if I go back to my browser and open a new tab and go to my favorite website that I want to use and teach from, my view board will continue to record even this window on the YouTube live stream. When you're finished and you're ready to end your stream, in the menu, which is kind of hidden, this is like your pause stop button, you'll see when I take my uh, pen off it kind of uh, goes away to the side see there it goes transparent when you press the stop button that's gonna end the stream so let's go back to our YouTube channel and we can see our preview up here on the left remember I told you that it's still live there's a little bit of a delay naturally because nothing is technically live I'm gonna go ahead and record the close the recording menu now you'll see YouTube here is kind of thinking right so the stream is stopped and what it's doing is it's closing the stream and processing the video. So we're just gonna give it a second to do that. All right, now that it's done processing, it just gives me some quick statistics about my stream, such as how long it was, uh, if I had any new subscribers to my channel, average watch time, watch time. But I'm gonna click the edit in studio button because you can actually edit this video a little bit uh, if you want to. So. You can see here that I can trim it, save my changes. I'm not gonna go into all that, but you can use the editor. What I do wanna show you though, is up here on the top left where it says channel videos. If I touch the back button, this takes me to any videos that I've uploaded. So right now I'm in my uploads where you can see some different videos I've uploaded. If I go over here to live, this is the section where all my live streams are. So here's my math area lesson. So not only was it streamed live, um, it's still here, so I can do things like edit it, but I can also get that shareable link so we can watch it later. So I'm gonna open a new tab and we'll paste that shareable link in. And so not only did I get the live stream. I am live. So now I can say nine, okay, 10. Video there. Not only were you able to do it live, but you also have this video for later in case any students who couldn't make it live can watch the video. I also want to show you here that when we switch to the other tab, that that part of the video was recorded. So my view board records everything. So if you're looking to post uh, your learning online, you don't want to use a tool like Zoom or Meet and you want to live stream, my view board is a great choice. It's really easy to set up and you don't have to worry about all your kids having accounts for Zoom or Google Meets or Teams or anything like that.